Article 33, shall the town of Hampton grant the Board of Selectmen the authority under RSA 41-14A to modify or release deed restrictions imposed by the town under the lease land sales program to be added to the authority already, already granted by the town to the Board of Selectmen under RSA 41-14A under Article 38 at the March 12, 2002 annual town meeting by extending this authority to apply to the lease land sales program. Majority vote required. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen 5-0. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 33? Moved by Mr. Griffin, seconded by Mr. Bridal. Who would like to speak to Article 33? Uh, Mr. Uh, moderator, the, um, the lease land sales program, which the town adopted back in 1982, um, provided that there would be in whatever deeds were issued for various lots, and there were over 600 of them, would require the same restrictions in the, uh, to be put in the deeds as appeared in the lease. And so what you have is um, not necessarily a uniformity throughout the, the town, but these are all deed restrictions that represent property interests. Now, uh, RSA 41 colon 14A is a statute that allows for and the town meeting voted for it favorably back in uh, March of 2002 uh, to allow the selectmen to um, provide for the acquisition or sale of lands, buildings, or both. And I, I interpret that, and most other council do too, to include interests in land such as deed restrictions. Right now, what has to happen is that, uh, that uh, in order for these to be released or modified, you get warrant articles each year where the uh, applicant, and I believe there are two of them this year, need to come before the town meeting to uh, talk about the, the need for the release or modification of the restriction. This article would, and, and what, what ends up happening is these are voted on with a little more input than what you get at this particular meeting in front of a small percentage of the uh, town voters. The adoption of this article would correct the, um, the uh, exclusion from the forest RSA 4114A process that was adopted back in 2002, excluding the lease land sales program. Now this RSA 4114A is a rather considered process. It involves first the input of the planning board and the conservation commission on any proposed modification of a deed restriction or release of a deed restriction, followed by three uh, hearings. The first two are public hearings spaced a certain amount of time apart, and then there's uh, yet another uh, final hearing for a vote. So what you get is a considered process that uh, is a lot more, um, involves a lot more discussion and a lot more consideration of the merits of a particular proposal than is available under the, uh, the, the warrant article as, such as we see here. And I think you'd probably have a lot more uh, consistent results. In the past, these articles have involved, some are approved, some are not, for the release of the very same restriction. And I believe if this is put into the hands of this RSA 4114A, uh, several bodies of, of uh, the town that deal with land restrictions will be able to um, address these in, in a more comprehensive way. Thank you, Mr. Gerald. You referenced the Planning Board and the Conservation Commission. Is their role advisory so that the ultimate and only vote is by the Board of Selectmen, or if there were an adverse vote by the Conservation Commission or the Planning Board that that would stop? the request? Uh, it does not stop it. You're correct. It is advisory. Okay. I would say that RSA 4114A has a safety valve where if there's a certain number of people petitioning, then the matter is voted on instead at the town meeting. Okay. So I believe Articles 39 and 42 of our warrant today have uh, examples of um, deed restrictions where property owners are seeking to have them released and under our current program, if I understand it, that release can only come from town meeting. Uh, Article 33 would change that process as I understand it and um, 
allow that to be voted on by the Board of Selectmen after the process which you described, which would include public hearing, planning board review, and conservation review. Is that correct? correct. Okay. And, and, and also I would like to add that it allows for a more regular consideration of this rather than a once a year time frame uh, for town meeting. Sure, sure. Mr. Griffin, did you want to be heard? Yes, I just wanted to say that one of the things that's under, cons you know, that one reason this was brought forward is there's a number of people that would like to have the fencing high enough to cover the trash receptacles. And uh, there's some people that have an issue where their neighbors are, have their trash cans all lined up and it kind of ruins their view or whatever. And it's in areas that are lease land in the past. Yeah. Mr. Bridal. And also it runs in conflict with, with some of the laws that reference people that have pools in their yard. That has to be at least 48 inches. And if they have a pool and we can't, don't allow them to have a fence that's over 30, 36, right. it, it, one, one conflicts with the other. Okay. So. Mr. Pierce. Yes, sir. Sure. If I may. Yes. Michael Pierce, uh, 84 Lock Road. I do know that in the, when I was living here, one of the concerns they had at the time was the buildings are awfully close together at the beach and one of the things they wanted to do is make sure that going forward they kept maintain that distance like keep it so far away from the building next door etc from a fire hazard point of view so my question is is this going to make it easier for me if i have a little two by two square i can build it out closer to the street or closer to my neighbors than it was before easier uh, not not necessarily uh, it is the case, of course, that sometimes there, the, the deed restrictions, many of them do contain setback restrictions. Right. Those would not be allowed to be uh, automatically released. Those are considered on a case-by-case -case basis by the 4114A process. So certainly not automatic, and the selectmen would certainly be considering that. Also, when it comes to setback, which is also covered in the zoning ordinance, uh, the uh, Zoning Board of Adjustment would also have a say. One, one of the more confusing aspects, however, is that the Zoning Board of Adjustment cannot give relief from deed restrictions. Okay, so if I have a, if I want to build too close to my property line in relation to the spirit back then for fire safety, who would have the final say or final control over my request? Well, I, it's, it's, it would be a combination when you're talking setback of the Board of Adjustment as well as the Board of Selectmen so the board, under this the, process. The zoning board could stop it then? Uh, if, it, if it also, if, it, if the uh, setback that you're talking about also violates the zoning ordinance. Okay, only then, okay. Now I was concerned that a lot of those restrictions are put on there for safety. I know that, I don't, the fence thing isn't a big concern of mine, that would be between the neighbors. I'm concerned about the safety because I realize that some of the buildings down at the beach are built literally on the property lines in some cases I've seen. So I just didn't want to loosen any of those restrictions because it's a big enough fire hazard the way it is. But, but be mindful, Mr. Pierce, that this body has released some of those uh, setback restrictions via warrant articles in the past. Right. So Mr. Jones may chime in on this, but it's really who's going to do it? Right. Who, who is going to be the decision maker on that issue? And you've heard from Mr. Gerald the process described, um, anticipated if Article 33 were to pass, and you can look at Article 39 and 42 right now, the process at right. the moment is any discussion that may occur here, and then a vote on March 14th as yeah. to whether it is uh, passed or not. I appreciate that, Mr. Moderator, and I think this is probably a better process. I just wondered if who could actually stop it from happening. That's my big concern, because if I'm good friends with the board, they might God forbid, lean a little bit in my favor rather than just approving it easily, which is what I'm trying to say. And when it's up to the voters, it wouldn't be that process. It'd be different. Even though I like this process better, I'm concerned that who has the final say. Sure. Well, then, as I mentioned, there is this safety valve in RSA 4114A that if there's a written petition of 50 registered voters presented to the selectmen prior to that third meeting when they vote, Mm -hmm. then it would have to go to town meeting. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Spears. Mr. Jones. I, 
I don't like the existing process. I think it's not the best. It could be better. So I mean, I'm, I'm an advocate of changing the process. We don't need to see these deed restriction removals multiple times every year. But I think that, uh, Ms. Moderator, you're absolutely correct. My question is, what body should be the lead on this? And in my mind, the planning board is the governing board of land use, and deed restrictions is, in fact, a land use issue. So it's more properly placed into the planning board, not the board of selectmen. The board of selectmen have many other things to do. They don't need to be spending their time with three meetings and petitions, et cetera, et cetera, on a deed restriction. The planning board is much better equipped to deal with this. So uh, I think we can go back to the blackboard on this one and, and maybe get it over to the planning board where I think it properly belongs. Otherwise, I'm going to, even though I don't like the existing process, I'm going to, I'm going to be voting no on this. Thank you, Mr. Jones. If I might just add, uh, towns have only that authority that the state gives us. Right. And uh, this happens to be the place where the legislature has given the town the, uh, the ability to adopt RSA 4114A, which was done several years ago. Uh, unfortunately, the planning board's authority, as spelled out in the RSAs, currently doesn't get to uh, dealing with town-owned land interests. Well, maybe Mr. Jones can have a conversation with Mr. Emmerich, uh, who has planning board experience and also makes a trip to, uh, to Concord frequently uh, on whether that could be adjusted or not. Sure, go ahead. What, when the town sells the land, it can put a contingency on that sale uh, for the planning board to review the deed restriction. Or alternatively, you could have a Board of Selectmen town ordinance or a Board of Selectmen policy that says we're going to give this responsibility to the planning board. Somehow, the expertise definitely resides in the planning board. Somehow, they should be invoked as the decider, if you will, on matters of deed restriction in my mind. That would be a more optimal approach. Not so much that I oppose this, I just think the Board of Selectmen have enough to do. We don't need to be adding on to their workload. And they don't have the expertise that the Planning Board does on land use. So that's where I'm at, okay? Thank you, Mr. Jones. Okay. Anyone else wishing to be heard on um, Article 33? Seeing none, Article 33 will appear on the warrant as uh, presented.